Hi everyone. Look, Denny's out. He's, I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's just perching back there and watching. So I, I feel like we're, we're lucky. So anyway, um, and of course, gosh, <laughs> Maggie is pretty comfortable. Uh, I think that's the theme of the day today. Be comfortable. Um, but also, oh, uh, let me just start from the beginning. Hi, I'm Holly. Welcome to the channel. If so inclined, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. So um, I am an energy reader, uh, psychic medium, and uh, I do use tarot as a jumping off point and oracle decks. And I have a lot of cats. So uh, happy 4th of July, everyone, if you are in the States. Um, and I've been talking about my peppermint tea, which I've had my one cup of coffee that I'm giving myself in the morning until my stomach heals up the way it should. But check out this mug. This is part of the energy for the day. Okay, this is part of the vibe for the day. And I'll get into that in a minute. But peppermint tea. And it's, it's actually a misnomer, and I'm showing you this because I think it helps other people too. The more we share what works for us and what doesn't, you know. So I like this brand, Traditional Medicines. This is the organic version. It was the only one they had at the store at the moment, so I got it. But the regular one is a little cheaper, and it's fine too. Um, so, yeah, it's actually, it doesn't have any actual tea leaves in it. It's more of, I think, a an herbal concoction is considered a tazome. I think I'm saying that the right way. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just all peppermint. And yeah, I could just go grab some peppermint out of the yard and boil it. But I like the, I like this version. So anyway, uh, and it does help a lot. So while that is steeping a little bit, let's get into the vibe of the day before I start working on the cards. It's been one heck of a week already. Um, a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of uh, high emotions, a lot of heightened emotions. Uh, look at him. A little man over there. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, heightened emotions and uh, a lot of physical irregularities, um, just just all sorts of things, you know? And we are coming into a new moon in the next, well, actually, I think it's tomorrow. And then um, just, just everything seems ramped up, you know? So, and I'm not the only one feeling it. And I was messaging, uh, texting back and forth with a friend yesterday and, and yeah, it's, it's like everywhere, everyone is going through something, it seems like. So that's why I went, when I asked spirit guides and guardians, kind of tuned into the energy today, and I felt the need for this mug. Very green, blue-green healing energy. Fairy realm energy. Something ethereal, something light, something happy, something that lifts you out of where you are. I feel like that's really necessary right now. Um, we are going through a rebirthing, and that's the word that's coming up. We are going through a rebirthing of sorts, and the more we fight it, the harder it will be. Um, so I must have been fighting it pretty hard. <laughs> I don't know. But um, try to be in the flow accept what comes there's nothing we can do some things we can change the things we can't just roll with it let it flow and understand there is a purpose there it, we will see and understand the reason behind it later let's just roll with it take care of ourselves surround ourselves with kind gentle and loving energy <clears throat> and do i'm sorry <clears throat> i'm so tired of this um but I'm going to roll with it. Um, so, yeah. Do what you need to do, particularly today, to rest. Because I feel like tomorrow we're going to be... I don't want to say on, on high alert, because that sounds like alarms going off. And that's not it at all. But I feel like today is the day to stay calm, relax, rest seek your inner what i'm hearing is seek your inner wisdom and peace the things that you know how to do within you if something doesn't feel right don't do it 
Um, don't do anything that you don't absolutely have to do. It's your life. You don't owe anyone an explanation. No means no. Or, you know, do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You know, it's, it's, we don't owe anyone explanations. And that's for all of us watching this in the collective. Um, that is the vibe. So do what you need to do to be calm. Take care of yourselves. Be careful with your health and your wellness. Be nurturing and gentle to yourself. All right, and let's get into it. All right, so... Excuse me. Mm. Oh. Oh, I can just feel the healing going through me. All right. Let's start, since we're talking about the uh, elemental and fairy realm energy. Let's go ahead and go back to our Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. It's a very pretty deck. Look at that. Isn't that, it's just, isn't that pretty? You know, when I was young, I couldn't stand the color pink. I think because I was always so angry and dealing, in, dealing with so many really hard situations. Now, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I love pink. I love the color pink. I have embraced the pink. You know, it's just so, that sounds a little weird. But anyway, you know what I mean, the color pink. I just, I, I just think it's lovely. All right. Well, there you go. While I was rambling on with my inane and nonsensical stuff, I clearly heard, stop, open the deck, pull the card. So that's what I did, and out of the middle. And this is what came up, moon energy. <laughs> what do you know? And tomorrow we've got, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, today's Thursday, yes. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow we have a new moon. And um, I believe it is one of those new moons that, um, we need to do a lot of internal work with this one on our emotions, okay? So let me put my glasses on and then see what this card says. From the fairy being of the moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. What did I just say? I like validation a lot. All right. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So, you know what? There are the things we can change. It's on us to do it. Change it. Things we can't change. Just roll with that ebb and flow and the tide and, and just, just get, get, you know, just roll with it. If you can't do anything about it, then it's not going to really help you to stress about it. And I'm a fine one to talk. But, you know, I get it. My point is I get it. But tomorrow, I think, is when we come to the crux of the situation where we are able to finally release, purge, and let go. I feel like it's going to be a period of releasing and letting go. And that is incredibly healing. All right, so same thing. They said open it up. And the first one that I saw facing up, this card, Divination. Oh, I took my glasses off too soon. Um, embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. So in order to do that and fully have that release, letting go, healing moment tomorrow or day tomorrow, We've got to do the work today to release and let go. I mean, we're doing that tomorrow. Today, we've got to do the work to see clearly, feel clearly, acknowledge the emotions, roll with it, flow, all that stuff. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm all over the place. Um, and then on the other side of the deck, I still felt called to do this one as well. And look what came up. Ask for help. That is a divinely angelic kind of guided being reaching out and helping. And it's, it's, it's almost like a cross between water and land. 
because there are trees in the background, but that looks like a wave. If you feel like you're being swallowed up, if you feel like you're being, if you feel overwhelmed and like things are just out of your grasp, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Ask for the, if you believe in the whole elemental kingdom and nature energies, you know, call on that too. But yes, angelic energies are so ready, eager, and able to help us call on them. They're non-denominational, okay? That crosses every line, every boundary, everything. They do not have um, a specific affiliation. They simply are divine beings of light. And that's all you have to know. Ask for help when you need it. And that means also asking for help in the human realm as well. Please remember there are hotline numbers that you can call. Please get help if you need it. There is no shame in getting help. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself and do it today. Okay? That's important. Someone needs to hear that. All right. All right. So let's go into some tarot. Well, we'll do this in a second. Hold on. We've got an energy coming in. Yeah, so there's an energy coming in, and it is maybe because it's the fourth. I don't know, but it feels like it's I feel a lot of, um, and I, I want to tread lightly with this because I, I know there are a lot of people who, who've had a lot of loss in their family, um, and I don't want it to feel like it's something that I'm trying to sensationalize. I am not, I promise you. Um, I know a lot of people who have served. Um, and carry a lot of wounds in a lot of ways from that. The visual I'm getting is that I'm walking, I can see, it's like I'm navigating through um, a military base that has a big cemetery on it, and I've been there. And it's a very emotional feeling. It's, it's not that there's an individual being or spirit that is in need or help facilitating transitioning. It is, it's like I'm playing through and seeing the ones from the past and the ones who, it's, it's, they are looking for acknowledgement. So I am acknowledging all of those who served. And I can only speak for this country right now. The individual, and this is the message they want me to convey, the individual was never to blame in any military action. The individual soldier was never to blame for anything. Please don't flood comments with whatever. I, I, I'll just delete them. Um, and I'm speaking about in this country. I know we've had some rough... I'm not even going to go into it. Um, I know it's. I know there are bad situations, but the individual soldier is not to be blamed. They want that to be made very clear. They felt and believed they were always doing the right thing.
They're even tapping in to some, they go far enough back, I would say ancestors, that I haven't even really tapped into psychically, but I know that I know of them that go really far back. And they were all uh, military people. They just, I know I, I'm trying to handle this very delicately. Be proud of the drive. Be proud of the service. Be proud of all they've done. And don't squander that freedom. It's like I can see this group en masse walking up. Some of them had no idea what they were walking into. Some of them did. There are causes bigger than the individual. That's what they want people to know. There are causes that were bigger than the individual. And their lives were not lost in vain, and they want to make sure of that. I ask for them to be at peace. And with gratitude and love, I thank you. And that includes those who lost their lives by their own means when they came back because of the trauma. That's something I think a lot of people don't talk about. I can feel their grief. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit with that off the video. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, not this one. I think we, um, ooh. One is, there's one who is staying really close to me. And I think he, yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll hang out with me. Give me just a minute here. Okay. Actually kind of curious about what's going on. So yeah, he's going to hang out with me for a minute while I finish this. The moon. What is hidden below the surface? That's what I'm hearing. What is hidden below the surface will come to light. What is hidden below the surface will be revealed. Queen of Pentacles. That's almost um, not the traditional meaning. Be careful of feeling too superior. If you had to go into the trenches, what would you do? There are all kinds of trenches. Can you put your money where your mouth is? Don't sit in judgment. That's the message. Things are about to come out into the light. Five of Pentacles. Be grateful for what you have. What else? This is all he, this, this. Nine of Pentacles coming into harvest. The chickens are coming home to roost. 
That's what I'm hearing. Things are things are get about to get real. Things are about to be exposed for what they really are. Just be ready. Be willing to accept it. Ace, what is that? Ace of Swords. All right, information, downloads, it's gonna come in really quickly. And then the Six of Pentacles. People are gonna start reviewing actions of the past and it will all make sense. Anything else? Okay. We're gonna be okay though, cause King of Wands. Someone with a great deal of strength. Who's working overtime. Who is doing the best possible to manifest the best possible outcome. And I feel like there's a group of people working behind the scenes to help. flush out the deceit. Four of Pentacles. Be careful of your spending for a little bit, but there will be celebration. There will be celebration and there will be um, an end to isolation. This this whole sense of isolation and not coming into community will, will end. And it's all going to hinge on this King of Wands being able to manifest healing and hope. And I feel like it's throughout the world. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to watch this one, that's fine. I understand it's not real touchy feely but what i'm getting they're showing me they're showing me the propaganda machine and they're showing me nazi germany be careful i do feel like there are groups of people working together to try to keep that from happening again What should I say? And they're not giving me full information because they're trying to protect me. What I can tell you, hold the highest truth. Hold to the highest truth. What is in the best interest of all? Odd reading, odd week, and an odd day. What I just keep hearing over and over again is, particularly those of you in this country, and those of you not in this country, you understand American politics affects everything in the world as well. And I'm not being egotistical about it. It's just, there's a massive responsibility and I feel like we're failing. Do your due diligence. I'm not going to do any more read on it than that. Do your due diligence. Know what's really happening. Don't base decisions on 30 second sound bites and commercials and memes on Facebook. Do your research. Fact check. This is a recognition of the ratification of the Declaration of Independence in this country today, July 4th, is the anniversary of that from 1776. 
we have to hold firm in the democracy. And that is, that is the message I'm getting. That is not where I intended to go with this today. And I feel like there's someone, a massive male energy behind me saying, do your due diligence. This is a big energy. Hold firm in the democracy. The democracy must succeed and it must not fail. Too many lives depend on it. Oh. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry you all, I didn't realize it was gonna go in that direction. But I think it was necessary. All right. Sorry it took such a heavy turn. Okay, and I think that that spirit is appeased. This is someone who high ranking worked hard. I think this this goes a long way back. I don't I don't know who it is, but I feel like it was somebody who was an integral part of that, well, the Revolutionary War. Okay, it's real. I'm wishing you all the best. And um, take care of yourselves. I'd like to say happy 4th of July, but after that uh, bit of channel channeling, um, yeah, okay, I'm just babbling now. I'm going to look into that a little more on my own. We need to remember where we came from. No, and, and it's a lot of different places originally, but if you are here in this country right now, God, it's just, it's almost like being pelted over and over again. Uphold the democracy, uphold the democracy, uphold the democracy, do not let the democracy crumble. getting real okay and with that hopefully we will have a very normal reading for uh, our next visit okay be well take care again I know this is a weird one but uh, yeah all right take care I, I said that already <laughs> I've got to go deal with this I think okay Thank you, and I hope more than anything, peace be with you. Be well. Well, I guess they really don't want me to end it after all. <laughs>